please click on the red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel then click on the bell icon for notifications wonders they say shall never end meet the mad couples that are married for over 22 years with three children a man named Olaide Olakinta Oluwa Yemisi has revealed how he was inspired by the love story of a mentally unstable couple who were married for over 22 years with three children. The mad couple's names are Samadhi and Cynthia. Samadhi was a graduate of applied physics from the University of Nigeria and Soka before he ran mad. Samadhi was a fan of everybody in the village because of his ability and talents. His dancing steps and melodious voice cannot be ignored by passerby. He sings and dances without musical instruments, yet those who listened and watched him wish he was not mad for the ecstasy he gave to them. Even in madness, Samadhi still sing and dance as people gather to watch him as he beat his abilities and talents. His love life and marriage to Cynthia, another mad woman in the village, was an envy of many couples. Samadhi and Cynthia had lived together in a self-built, self-contained house under the popular bridge at Orile Junction for over 22 years. There were several times the villagers saw them quarreling, but no one knew how they settled their differences. Unfortunately, Samadhi and Cynthia do not speak the same language. Why Samadhi was from the southwestern part of Nigeria, Yoruba, Cynthia was from the southeastern part of Nigeria, Igbo. They lived together for over 22 years like Shingom and nobody was able to separate them. How they accepted to live together as couple and had three children even in madness is a riddle no one is here to solve. They lived under the same roof in quote. They had no source of income other than begging. They have no common sense, lack counselors, never attended marriage classes. Yet, they lived together for over 22 years uninterrupted. Samadhi and Cynthia were the Romeo and Juliet of their world, a perfect match to a fault. Mad but proud of each other and their union is the envy of many married couples who had their love story. They were seen severally kissing, hugging, caressing, and sharing romantic moments together in the village. They shared all things in common. They bathed together, played together, ate together, entertained their guests together, fought together, smiled together, and many more. Samadhi and Cynthia were an epitome of uncoordinated romantic folks. If they were not mad, they would have won the best couple of the year award. The lesson in Samadhi and Cynthia romantic story is this. If the insane can sustain a romantic relationship, then the sane should be able to do better. Unfortunately, most sane couples with common sense cannot stay together as husband and wife for 10 years without divorce or separation. Yet, they have access to the good things of life. They have good shelter, good food, sound education, spiritual help, source of income, enough finance, and many more. According to Olaide Olakita Oluwa Yemisi, the story of this mad couple inspired me when growing up in the village as a young boy. With this, I made a covenant with my maker that I will have an enviable marriage. I told myself when I was 17 years old that if a madman 
can do it I can do it better because I am at better advantage unfortunately Samadhi died on 24th July 2020 and Cynthia died too on 3rd September 2020 that is barely two months after her husband Samadhi died according to multiple research conducted Cynthia died of depression and loneliness. Their children were adopted by three different families whose lives were inspired by the romantic life of the mad couple. If the mad couple can do it, I can do it better because I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Allah Ide Allah Kinta Oluwa Yemisi stated. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely out of sight.